Hi, I'm Joanna Kohler, and we're at the Renters Warehouse Red Carpet at the Twin Cities Film Fest. And tonight we're screening a film called A Method. I'm super excited, and we have the director and lead actress with us. Paul, you are the director of this film, and you know this is like such an interesting idea because you're you're kind of combining genres with this film. Talk to me a little bit about what you got going on here. Well, one of the things is I've uh, directed two uh, feature documentaries before this, and I really like the idea of what I had going for a feature narrative. And I don't see a whole lot of films, especially uh, excuse me, narrative films that question documentaries. And that's one of the things I really dig about this. Besides the fact, then also that it's a, it's disturbing subject matter, which I like, and that's why I work with. I'm very comfortable with, but it's also uh, very theatrical in the way that we did long takes. It's all these things that I'm very, very comfortable with and with the people I get to work with. And as I mentioned, you don't get narrative films questioning documentaries, and that bothers me. And that's one of the things that I really dig about a method when the script was brought to me. And it, it was one of the first things that truly pulled me in on that element. Awesome. And Jane, I know that like, for you as an actress in this piece, how did that, how did the storyline kind of play into, did, did you think anything differently about your work in this? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, my character uh, decides to use method acting uh, in uh, this film, so I made the deliberate decision to not use method acting because then it's sort of like looking into a series of refractory mirrors and like if I'm doing this method, and, but um, since it, she met kind of a bad end, it goes horribly wrong for her using um, method acting. Um, I decided that I was gonna, it was really important to me to keep myself um, emotionally safe um, since we were gonna be on a really long shoot and I think it was really important to Paul that his actors not go crazy, so. <laughs> And I'm At least relatively, say, relatively. Yeah, exactly. I did go a little insane, but that's just to be expected working with Paul. So. <laughs> For nice. either of you, I mean, it's, it's sort of like this self-reflective but still entertaining piece. What do you think you're going to take away from this film into your next work? I mean, are you... You want me to go first on that one, sweetie? Yeah, go for it. Uh, for me, one of the things is I really dig that I do a lot of horror stuff and what have you, and I like the idea of doing something that's disturbing, but yet it's what you'd call more of a psychodrama, and the idea that it's something that's accessible in the way that it's not blood and gore or what have you. So I like the idea of trying to pull something off like that, because you don't see that as much in American cinema, especially uh, you see it you know, more in French and sometimes German cinema, but not as much American, so I really dig that. And the other thing, too, and walking away with it, that's something I got into the script in directing is it's a very disturbing film, but yet it's very female centered and with that there's uh, lots of elements of motherhood uh, there's different elements of just being a female within the industry and you don't see that either but yet it was fun because we didn't actually lean terribly hard on that we tried to be semi subtle with that so it's another element that we really want people to walk away from is that oh wow you can do a disturbing film but it doesn't have to be all about it doesn't have to be reservoir dogs where it's a bunch of men trying to kill each other or what have you it's it, it's another element of what you can find in this genre of something, like I said, disturbing is what I keep going with, but that you don't really get to see as much. Absolutely. Um, this was the most I've ever been stretched as an actress. Is it okay that you hold this? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so this has already changed my life um, quite a bit. Oh, I'm sorry to make you do that. This has already changed my life quite a bit. It's the most challenged I've ever been. I don't, I think films that uh, ask this much of an actress are really few and far between. It was very gritty and very disturbing. Um, and I uh, got to be both beautiful and horribly ugly. Um, it's, it was just a dream to be able to do. It was an uncomfortable character to live in, but a dream to be able to play. Absolutely. Paul, I want to ask you, you know, as the director, obviously your your whole statement about this film has got to be up on that screen. But before folks get in to actually see this film, is there sort of a, a one-liner or like a, a message you would just get to get folks in the seat? Like what would you say, why do they need to come see this film? Why they would come see a method. Uh, give me just a second on that. I would say to come see it, to see what isn't usually questioned in films. As I've gone back to, one of the big elements is documentary films are storytelling. And I've, I've done two feature docs and shorts, and I really like doing it, I sincerely do. But they're not questioned, people take them as, as journalism, and that bothers me. So if I was trying to bring people in, I'd say, come see something of where you actually get to see sometimes how documentaries are done, how they're sometimes manipul how they're manipulative, how they are, how they sometimes push people in amoral aspects, but at the same time to come see it, to see how dangerous your own ambition can be. 
Awesome. Well, that's that's got me wanting to sit in the seat. So I just want to thank you guys for taking the time to oh, come here and, and visit with me. And I want to thank the Renters Warehouse for uh, bringing us the red carpet interview tonight. And I just I'm looking forward to this. So nice job. Congratulations. Thank you very much again.